Colin, preseason home victory. Just maybe your thoughts on, on the effort uh, as a whole. The power play was, was clicking there, especially that top unit. Yeah, I thought uh, I thought what the power play did in the first period, it gave us some momentum. You know, I think we were getting out shot 6-2. Didn't love our start. I don't think our guys did either. But power play got us some momentum and, uh, you know, didn't score on, on, the, on the first one, but uh, was able to, uh, uh, to give us uh, some offensive life. So I thought, you know, obviously they did convert on two, and we're thankful for that. And, um, you know, there were some good moments, some moments we'd like to have back. But uh, overall, there's definitely some things that we can have some, uh, some productive conversations about uh, tomorrow morning. Matthew Savoy obviously is going to get a lot of fanfare this year. Uh, you know, ninth overall pick, 2022, comes in with a high pedigree, had a terrific junior career, and picks up kind of where he leaves off and has three assists tonight. What did you think of his game? Yeah, you know, I, I thought uh, what really stood out for me was on the Cameron Wright goal that he didn't dive in. He created a wedge. Uh, you know, he was responsible defensively. He stayed on the puck. He created the turnover. Uh, and then it, that led to, uh, you know, a couple nice plays and uh, ultimately uh, Ryder shooting in the back of the net. So I, I thought uh, he was on the puck tonight. You know, he did some, some good things in the penalty kill as well. And those are some things that uh, defensively learning how to play without the puck uh, is what he'll need to learn here in Bakersfield. And, uh, you know, Keith McCambridge and uh, guys like that will, uh, will, uh, will be a big help for him uh, in those areas of the game. What does a healthy James Hamlin do for this club moving forward? Well, James, you know, he's always in the right spots, right? He's always above the puck. He his uh, his risk reward, uh, as far as uh, understanding uh, when to gamble and when not, is at a really high level. So uh, I, I think uh, he, when you see that, uh, it's really, really rewarding for the rest of the team to understand uh, that when you play that way, uh, and you can still contribute offensively. And uh, I thought he skated well tonight. I thought he made some good decisions. Uh, you know, I was happy to see him pot a couple as well offensively. And, you know, I think when we had him there briefly, the game in Calgary, I thought it was one of our most complete games and it just gives you some, some added depth. Uh, and also, uh, lastly, it gives an internal push, right, for the rest of your guys to make sure that uh, they're at the top of the game. So we're, uh, we're happy to have him and uh, do what we can to get him ready for the big club if needed. Last one. Uh, everyone wants to be strong down the middle, right? That's a term you hear a lot uh, in the game of hockey. You've got Lane Peterson, you've got Jaden Group, you've got James Hamlin. Savoy can play center too. Uh, it seems like this is going to be a real strength of this team moving forward and being able to win a lot of faceoffs, control the play uh, moving forward. Yeah, it's something uh, we talked about at the, uh, at the end of each. Uh, first and second period, we were we were about 50% of the faceoffs, and you know you want to start with the puck first, so we felt good about that. Uh, at the same time, you know, like it's uh, it's good healthy competition to have guys to be strong in the middle, and and then also some of those guys can play wing as well, right? So, uh, and Savoy being one of them, so you know we're excited to have that depth, uh, how that healthy competition, and uh, as you know, the Pacific Division is a war every night, and uh, there's no easy game, so um, you know we're happy to have uh, some options early on here, that's for sure.